What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. We have an all new fusion to talk about. That is right, folks. Yesterday, the announcement was made that the new Fusion Pro is going to be available soon. When exactly, I, of course, do not know. We are here today to quickly talk about the big differences between the original Fusion and the new Fusion and Pro. If you don't know what a Fusion is, just to be clear, these are FOC brushless setups. The motor is this section here, and the speed control is actually built into the motor. So coming out is your receiver wire for your throttle channel, your power plug for your battery, and then your button for turning it on and off, and the programmer port is actually in here as well. So you unplug the little doohickey and your programmer goes in there. On the surface, it looks very similar. It has a higher KV, so it's going to give you a little bit more wheel speed. It has four new settings and it is a slightly different size it's a little bit shorter and it's slightly larger diameter as well i think the it's a 58 millimeter long motor now you can see 58 millimeters over the original one being that odd 63 size so it's going to fit into the vehicles a little bit more easily now i know there's been some users out there that remove this plate and run them in the tight fit setup so they file on it a little bit now you won't have to do that and the 2300 is nice that's always kind of been my favorite kv for three cell usage other key features that are different is the diameter. Uh, this is a normal size, a 36, you call it, millimeter motor. This one is actually a 37 millimeter motor, so slightly larger. Shouldn't cause problems for most installations. You don't get too many deals where the, the size of the, or the diameter being slightly different is going to be a big deal. And the big thing is the tuning as well. The Fusion Pro has some additional tuning features. The original Fusion has nine settings. Fusion Pro has four, or 13 settings, sorry. And I don't have an instruction manual. I don't have the programmer box that has it. This is a actual pre-production version of it. It looks just like the production ones, but unfortunately I didn't get it fully packaged. We're gonna do a full unboxing and run down all those settings. But there is some enhancements, I guess is the fancy word to say, that the FOC style is adjustable in more ways and the Fusion has normal basher mode as well. So you can kind of deactivate the FOC style feel and you can have regular forward reverse brakes. So if you wanted to put this all in one and do a basher rig, it's a pretty decent setup for that as well. Uh, more on the hard spec differences, there is also a little bit of rating change in the speed control that's built in. The original Fusion speed control is a 40 slash 160 rated. The new Fusion speed control, or Fusion Pro rather, is a 60 slash 200 amp rated speed control. The BECs are also rated different. Four amp switching BEC. This is a six amp switching BEC in the new Fusion Pro. And there are a bunch of setting changes as well. The original Fusion has nine adjustable parameters. The new Fusion Pro has has 13 adjustable parameters. We're going to take a deep dive into what all those setting changes are in the next video on our Fusion Pro when we get this installed and we can run through and look, look at all that stuff kind of firsthand. We'll put a link in the description down below for availability, pricing, all that fun stuff. As always, I never know that, that sort of information firsthand, so you'll check that out there. There you have it, folks. A quick rundown on the all-new Fusion Pro 2300 KV two-in-one speed control and FOC brushless setup. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't forget you can always send us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. But as always, folks, thanks for watching New Every Tuesday. It's the Charlie Show. We'll see you next time.